so dear friends often we think that uh, it would be nice if we have a solar cycle and we think that uh, we would place uh, the solar panel here and uh, the motor will come at this place like you know uh, what we call it as bottle battery so it will come here and then we can uh, ride it you know without paddling but that is not a very good idea not a practical idea not feasible there is a reason behind that now if you buy a solar panel a 15 watt panel would take quite a large space i mean even more than this carrier okay so if it takes uh, quite a large space Okay, uh, now the motor as you know is uh, normally for any e-cycle it is uh, something like 250 wattage, 250 watts. So how can we have uh, like 12 or 13 uh, solar panels on a bicycle, that much space is not there. Or else uh, if we think that we would uh, charge it for about 15 hours uh, or 16 hours and then ride for 1 hour. For that we need to place it in the sun and uh, see we have rubber parts in that so there will be more wear and tear. So quite, I mean, it's not a practical option. Solar bicycle isn't a practical option. Yes, those e-cycles, you know, where the battery is charged by electricity, that can be quite practical. So uh, that uh, those are already selling. But if you have a project in mind regarding uh, this uh, solar cycle, uh, then uh, I think it is better you drop it because uh, it isn't quite feasible. Uh, from the voltage angle only we can say, because uh, that much area actually isn't there on a bicycle where we can uh, place those solar panels. Okay friends, thank for, thanks for listening and uh, if you like uh, more such videos and uh, then you can uh, like, subscribe this channel. Thank you once again. Bye bye.